A bill aimed at improving the safety of self-driving cars is on its way to the governor's office. It's the first law to touch the self-driving car industry in Arizona, but does it go far enough? Team 12's William Pitts explains. There are a lot of basic provisions in this bill, but what it doesn't do is make self-driving car companies tell you how safe their cars are. This car is all yours with no one up front. HB 2813 is headed to the governor's office. No driver needed. Basically, the bill adds self-driving cars to state law. It lays out who's responsible for the car and spells out that they have to follow the rules of the road. Something that has never been on the books, even though self-driving cars have been in the valley for 10 years and in one case killed a woman. In 2018, an Uber self-driving car hit and killed a woman crossing the street in Tempe. The safety driver was looking down and the car didn't stop on its own. The NTSB found problems in Uber's technology, culture, and what they called the state's insufficient oversight. The NTSB suggested a commission to oversee safety plans. Arizona has a similar committee. It's only met once in 2016 and never met again. Up until this week, there had been no new regulations on self-driving cars since 2018. It provides for, for some specific parameters for how that technology can be deployed. Ariel Wolf with the Self-Driving Coalition, an industry group with members like Waymo, Cruise, and Kodiak, says the bill would make the cars safer. The industry here in Arizona is really in a close partnership with uh, the Arizona Department of Transportation and Law Enforcement. Companies do have to tell DPS how to safely interact with their cars, but they don't have to tell the state anything about how the cars work, and they're not required to tell the state how often the cars fail. This is really sort of playing around the edges, and it's sort of saying, well, we've got this different type of vehicle on the road. Let's just make sure that the legislation covers that different type of vehicle. Andrew Maynard studies self-driving cars at ASU. He says this bill at least lays out the basics. What happens if it's in a crash? What happens if somebody gets killed or gets injured? What happens if you've got a minor in the car and, and something happens? And it's a step that's way better than nothing. The bill passed through the state legislature on Thursday. It's now headed to the governor's office where he is expected to sign it. William Pitts, 12 News.